Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. I love you Cancer right off the bat. Really that's all I wanted to do is come on here and tell you I love you. <laughs> I love you guys. You know I, I and honestly I checked out um, the comments the other day. I wanted to, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in a reading before but there was um there was a subscriber um, or a fan you know that wrote down in the comments section and called me Mammy Becca, and it has stuck, okay? I think I'm going to, I love it, guys. I love the whole Mammy Becca. I will be honest with you, like, everybody I know in my community calls me mom. So, because I take care, well, I, at least I used to take care of, like, all the kids in the neighborhood. Um, but, yeah, I, the Mammy Becca thing, I love it. Whoever put that down in the comments, thank you so much. I love that. It's really stuck. I can't seem to stop thinking about it. So thank you so much. I love you. I can't remember the name of the person who did it, guys. I get so many comments, but I really do love you. I love you. Thank you. And um, anyway, Cancers, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate, Cancer. Toss the rest. You guys know, right? You're pros at this now. Um, don't try to force any reading, okay? And thank you so much, everybody. I love you. Thank you for the comments. Thank you. you guys are so nice to me. I'm telling you. And I love the Mammy Becca. I love that. Thank you so much for being, just for your kindness, Cancer. I love my peeps here. All right, Divine, what messages do you have for Cancer tonight? Oh, Cancer, oh. All right. Yeah, okay. So what I'm looking at, at first I, I had to double check this one, Cancer, because Ten of Pentacles coming out with the sabotage, that kind of tells me, I, I, you know, I, I originally thought it was about money, but I don't think it is. I think it's about um, a connection, right? I feel like there's a, you could be dealing with a Virgo or, or even a Leo, um, but I feel like this hermit out here, there's a hermit, Someone in hermit energy doing a lot of thinking about this. And I feel like they're coming to a realization that they sabotaged or somebody sabotaged um, a, a very happy ending for them. Okay. Um, I feel like your connection, I'm looking at this as your connection. Um, your connection Actually, this could be somebody new here, Cancer. Yeah. I really think this is someone new, actually, guys. You know, I, for those of you who know me, you know I always see this person as somebody new. This is a connection that's going to, whether it's your person thinking about your connection or a new person, Cancer, I feel like for a lot of you, you already started seeing someone new and this could lead to commitment. It could lead to building the Ten of Pentacles together. A really, really happy, fantastic life here. Like this is the kind of dream life everybody wants, you know, um, something solid. And I feel like this person is maybe finding out about it. And they're trying to think of a way to, to stop that from happening because they want you. But this is also somebody I feel like they're, this is somebody you've got a, a past with. This is someone who um, really they just don't want you to get committed to anyone else. I feel like they just want control over you. And they want to face plant you in this boat around all of these swords all over again i feel like this is a person from your past and i feel like this person here is someone new you guys could have started seeing someone new already and they found out about it and they're trying to think of a way to get you away from the new person and into this boat so they can have control but the thing is is i feel like this person could already be wrapped up in something else or they're not ready to commit 
they just want to hang on to you and not let you get with anybody else. They just really are looking, um, how do I get cancer away from this new connection where it, it could clearly end in, you know, end in happiness and into my boat and all of these burdens again. How do I get cancer here? And I feel like you're, you're in your boundaries right now. You're not talking to this person. I really feel like you don't want to have anything to do with this person. And I, I feel like uh, you know all the love that you put into this. And you, and you know that they were hiding something from you as well. See how they're wearing this hoodie? But you were honest with this person and they hid something from you. And I feel like, I feel like that ruined your connection with this person. But they're seeing you and thinking about you in another connect. Like, look, they're looking right at you here, trying to think of a way to sabotage a new beautiful connection that could lead to commitment. That's what I'm seeing here. So, you know, um, even if you aren't, even if you aren't meeting somebody new, this person could, they're doing so much overthinking here and running through the scenarios in their head that they could just be waiting to sabotage whatever connection you get into. They just don't want you with someone else. And I feel like you already know you can't trust this person. So you're reaching for a brand new beginning here, Cancer. Yeah, you've got somebody new. Or someone new is coming. And this new person, they're going to know exactly who they want right away. Right away, Cancer. Um, in the, and the reason why I say that is because in the after tarot, this person comes with this wreath, right? And they present it to the person that they want. I feel like this is someone new too because this is somebody who's been through the same kind of battle you have and they're coming out smelling like roses, like victory, right? They could even be chased by other people. This could be somebody um, that is very well liked in their community. A lot of people could know them. They could be in the public eye. This is somebody who's coming in here um, knowing what they want. And I, I just feel like these are two different energies. See, this is your person here all hiding, all this dark negative energy, overthinking, trying to plan a way to sabotage the new stuff you've got coming in. And here's this new person here all cleaned up, ready to rock and roll, Cancer. Okay, so two distinctly different energies here. Yeah, competition. They want to, this person from your past wants to stop this from happening. Okay, they want to stop this from happening. I feel like they're really going to fight um, to get you in that boat where they can get control. Yeah, they're going to come, this is their plan. They're going to come in and play you again, okay? So this is somebody really good at schmoozing. This is somebody really good at using people, okay, and leaving very abruptly. That sounds familiar, right? I feel like this is this, is this person that was hiding stuff from you to begin with. Um, and you could have looked up to this person in the past, but I feel like they may have played you in the past. Now what they want to do is come in really quickly with some passion. Um, very quickly. This is They, they want to rush in, okay, um, and give you an apology and use, you know, try to be a player again just to get you in this boat and get control of your mind. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I'm seeing. This energy is coming in fast. If you haven't met this new person, the, all of this is coming in fast, Cancer. I feel like you guys closed out a cycle, and you're, you're, you're starting a new beginning here, okay? You could even be getting like a lump sum of money coming soon. Um, but I feel like this is a, a new, fresh new beginning, a fresh new person, and your past person has found out about it. And now all of a sudden, there's all this fighting energy, right? Because your person does not want you to get with somebody else. They don't want you to get in another commitment. They just, but they're, they're not ready to commit either. They're coming in as a page of cups with a knight of wands. 
This person is no, they are not ready to commit, but they don't want you to commit to anybody else, okay? Yeah, because they're giving to somebody else right now. This is somebody who, I feel like they lied to you, Cancer. I feel like they um, really played a game with your heart here. And you didn't have any bad intentions. You were honest with this person. Your hoodie's down. But they were really holding on tight to some secrets here. And I feel like you've realized that. And you're like, nope, with strength out here, you're... Mm -mm. You're not lowering your boundaries. They, they were giving to someone else at the time, and they thought that maybe you weren't worthy. All I see are these patches on. You're the only one here with patches on your blanket. And they left you sitting here empty-handed, like, are you going to talk to me? Are you going to give me any kind of answers? Like, will you just tell me what's going on? I feel like you're you're finding out that this person kept this information from you, played you, and continued to giving to giving to other somebody else. I feel like they were they had somebody else around them, Cancer, and they could still be giving to someone else. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm seeing is there's a Knight of Cups coming to you. I feel like you're about to meet somebody new, or you already have. You could have already received a love offer here from somebody who knows that they freaking want you for sure. Okay, they're not going to be hemming and hawing. This new person isn't going to be wishy-washy. Um, I see them choosing you and your person, possible Virgo energy, standing in the middle saying, I got to change this now, right? Do everything I can to change it. So they're going to try to reach out and talk to you. Maybe give you some kind of invitation. This could be um, asking you out, or this could be even just testing the waters. Can I come and talk? Um, I feel like they want to manipulate the situation. They don't want to stick around, Cancer, but they don't want to lose you to somebody else either. So somebody selfish. I feel very selfish. And really all they want to do, Cancer, is get you stuck in your head again. These swords, guys... See, this is a beautiful card. It actually means going to calmer waters, right? Trying to calm things down, smooth things out, right? Make some things better. But take a really good look. Your face planted in the middle of all of those burdens like a mental mind trap, and they've got control of the boat. These swords should either be behind you in this boat or not in the boat at all. Okay, and they don't plan on sticking around. I feel like they're getting warned by the divine. Do not mess with my earth angel. Do not mess with my earth angel. Um, yeah, this person's getting a warning. You're moving forward. You're doing it beautifully too. You're you're well balanced. You're um, intuitive. You're graceful. Like you're not trying to plan, plot, or strategize behind somebody's back to sabotage anything, okay? And I feel like the divine just wants you to be free from this so that you can manifest this new person, this new commitment. And so they're stopping this person from coming towards you, I feel like. Or they're they're warning them. If they come and try to mess with you again, Cancer, this person's going to get some heavy karma. Yeah, they're stressing out. And this is here in reverse. They're stressing out because they didn't confront they, they didn't confront any of this, okay? Um, why does this person want to sabotage? Clarify the sabotage card. <coughs> it looks to me here like they're they're really sad over this in a depression, right? All of that black, all of these painful thoughts in their head, having to look at the the, th the fugly, right, the fugly bedspread, the fugly patterns of their own behavior, okay, um, the reasons why they didn't want to confront any of this, uh, any of the stuff they did to you in the past. Um, they had a chance to make things right. They had a chance to choose a different path. And they didn't choose the same path you're on. And 
Now they're stressed out about it because you know what? You're on a different path. You're entering into a new cycle. You're going to get leveled up in your life, right? Possible new jobs, new homes, new places to live, new clothes, new hairstyle. You guys could have gotten your hair colored recently. And a new partner that you can build with. Yeah, Cancer. And this person can't stop holding on. You're also in Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. And here, I, out of all of this, I'm noticing that snail moving way too slow. And you're not focused on the snail anymore. You're listening to the messages you're getting from the Divine. You're moving forward. You're, you're very abundant here. You're one pentacle away from a commitment from this Ten of Pentacles, okay? Other than that, you're extremely independent. You got everything you need and want here, Cancer. Like for real. And you're a single, you're a single person here. So I don't know if, I don't think you're in a commitment right now. You could just be meeting somebody that's going to lead to a commitment, okay? I'm seeing you single and ending this cycle. You're ending this cycle. Yeah. Yeah, because this person, what did I say? It's taken them way too long to come in. There's that little snail. It's taken them way too long to come in, Cancer, because they've been in a toxic situation. They're very, very burdened by it. Um, they're hoping that their pentacle can lead, can get the ten of pentacles for them, but I... I see this person still in a toxic situation, getting burned, right? Getting burned, asking the karmic, hey, you know, this doesn't feel good anymore, karmic. Can, we, can I be released? Because it's really chapping my butt. Um, yeah, they're extremely burdened. They could have a lot of, like, responsibilities, financial responsibilities, because this is a provider here. Um... Yeah, except they didn't they didn't give you anything but a hard time. And yeah, they've they've taken way too long to come forward here, Cancer, I gotta say. They yeah, they pushed you away. This person pushed you away and missed out on an opportunity um in love, right? Because you're moving forward. Yeah, you're blocking this person out. Cause you know that they're a control freak. They're just um I feel like they're all up in their ego. They're in their ego. Even though it doesn't look like it, that ego's not getting them anywhere. Look at how burdened they are. Look at that. I feel like this person tries to look like an emperor, but no. They're not feeling like an emperor. Not in this toxic situation that they're in. But you're moving forward. You're having a victory. See, this is why I think this is a new person. They're matching your energy. This is somebody coming from a battle, having a victory in life, right? Learning their lessons, moving forward, feeling really good and confident, okay? This is you having been through a battle and now moving forward, having a victory in life, feeling confident and high-vibing. And I feel like when you guys come together, if this is even if this is somebody you've already met, it could very well lead to commitment. At least that's what this that's what this person from your past is thinking, Cancer. That's what this person from your past is thinking, but this is somebody you've blocked out. You're not communicating with them anymore. You're like, F it, I'm moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, I'm moving into my son. I'm moving into happiness. I feel like um, with your intuition and learning all these lessons and doing your healing, you can see clearly exactly what happened with this person from your past, even though they never came to give you clarity, right? They didn't give you anything. This person didn't give you shite, Cancer. And you sat there and they knew that you were waiting to hear something or, yeah, but they didn't. I feel like they know they made you wait here in this mental mind trap for a very long time, Cancer, and just watched you, just watched you like a hawk. 
This is all they did was stare at you. <laughs> That's all they did and keep you stuck in your mind. Remember when I said about this boat, if you get in this boat, you're going to be stuck in this mental mind trap. What does that look like to you? What does that look like? I feel like you guys already know this, okay? They'll have you stuck all over again. Yeah, all this person did was try to build with someone else, okay? Um, invested a lot of time, energy, money into another connection and kept you stuck. They played you. They abandoned you. They didn't give you an ounce of clarity or truth. They just left and left you standing here to heal all on your own, which you did. They didn't know you were going to be that good at it. Yeah. Um, yeah, all they did was study you. They could even be studying the soulmate connection here, the, the twin flame journey. You know, the lover's card stands for a decision to make in love. I think you're the one making the decision here. Yeah, I feel like this person is studying this uh, twin flame soulmate connection. You know, their spirituality is really what I'm feeling like here because the light bulb's going off in their head. Oh, oh, that's why I can't stop focusing on cancer. They're my twin, right? They're my past life soulmate. I feel like when you met them, you already knew that this was a past life soulmate. You did. That's why you trusted them. That's why you looked up at them. That's why... Um, you were like, really? You know what I mean? Really? Really? You know? You were excited about it in a very innocent way. And this person pulled the plug on you. They pulled the rug right, from, right out from underneath you and kept you standing here. Now they want to sabotage anybody new that comes in because, you know what? They know you're the catch. They can't take their eyes off of you. They know what you're all about. Divine feminine energy here. Um, you could be dealing with the Pisces, a Leo. Yeah, I feel like um, you could be dealing with the Gemini too. Yeah, I, they're, I feel like they're realizing they wasted way too much time. It's a new cycle starting here. It's a new cycle. Yeah. And it's like a kick in the gut. They're, that's why they're burdened. That's why they're falling apart at night. Nighttime is really hard on this person. I feel like they're having nightmares. I'm hearing the word nightmare. Like they're saying this is a freaking nightmare. Because I, I feel like a, a lot of you have already met somebody great who knows your worth, who knows your value here, who can see it. And this new person, whoever this is, it could lead to commitment. They know. They know you're worthy. They know who you are. You're a divine feminine here, from what I feel. And yeah, they, they just let the time tick by on this situation, let you stand here. I feel like they're feeling really guilty, too, for how they treated you, Cancer, okay? They know you did not deserve to be treated that way. They full-on realize it, but yet at the same time, this person doesn't seem to be willing to drop anything to commit to you, either. They just don't want you to get away. Still very selfish energy. I feel like this person, they need to do the work. They need to learn some lessons here. And... Tower moment at the wheel of once you split from this person and you decided to, to have a new beginning and and go after it, I feel like that's when this wheel turned and now they're starting to feel that karma. They're feeling it deep, cancer. Deep. Yeah, I feel like they because they know they juggled the one for them. They this is to me the one. They juggled the one for them. Yep, and now they're feeling, and they're just in a lot of pain. Look, nine of swords, ten of swords, ten of wands, tower. I mean, come on, guys. Because you're going to get away. Because you know what? This queen of pentacles here is 
the most likely candidate to be committed because you're you're very worthy of a commitment you're already committed to everything that you're building here you're dedicated you're loyal you've got staying power and I feel like this person knows you're the one and they juggled you they know you're the one they juggled you with someone else possibly stabbed you in the back ten times I feel like this is the pain they're feeling now though because it's all hitting them all of this karma is coming back to them at the turn of this one little wheel here yeah the universe is like now we're gonna bring you down yeah Queen of Cups energy for for messing with you and all you've been is very loving yeah, I feel like now you're having a new beginning. You're like, I don't want to I don't want to put up with this anymore. I don't want to put up with this anymore. I feel like with that love and this ace of wands, you're going to with this and this new person, you guys are going to have a very passionate loving commitment here. And they know it. They can't picture the thought of you sharing passion with somebody else they can't handle the thought of you being out of their life and have no chance with you again they can't handle these painful thoughts cancer this is somebody falling apart they don't know what to do all they know is that they do feel guilty they feel ashamed for juggling you but they're more than willing to sabotage any new connection that you may have just to keep you stuck okay yeah empress energy this person you know lately when I've been getting the empress for some of these people they've got some they've gotten somebody pregnant I feel like they see you as the empress now I feel like before they thought that you were naive they were able to play you easily because you really genuinely wanted this person okay you were a sweetheart you cared about them and I feel like they took advantage of that. And now you're just too dang strong, Cancer. You're too strong because they left you alone for too long to heal and get your strength back. And now they don't know how to get back in. Okay, and they certainly don't want you with somebody else. The thought of you sharing passion with somebody else makes this person sick. Because they missed out on the one for them. They missed out on an empress. They missed out on somebody who was loving. Yeah. Now we've got a broken hearted emperor out here. Yes, that's the truth. This person's a fool. Yep. Yeah, that's the truth. They're a fool. I feel like you warned this person or somebody warned this person. Dude, these this risky behavior this in and out energy doing whatever you want right it's you're gonna walk off this cliff and I, I feel like that's kind of what's happening here they they had foolish behavior and this is what they get this is somebody who may have wanted to control you know they still want to control the situation they want to control the outcome for you even though you haven't been in their life you've been working on yourself and moving forward with your life building an empire they, this person knows with you too they could build an empire we got the emperor and the empress out here i feel like wherever this person is right now they're hiding the fact that um that they want to come forward now choose a new path they 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 want you and I feel like they're trying to hide that if you look here they're hiding here with the hermit they're hiding here right they're keeping secrets here with the hoodie um yeah they want their cancer though they want their cancer their star the one that they can't get off their mind you could be in the in doing something in the public eye here cancer where you're you just got this beautiful loving energy this is what they remember about you now it's like before they took advantage of that kindness that innocence right the fact that 
you looked up to them and now i got to answer the door guys and now um you're out in the public eye here getting the attention of a lot of other people hold on just a second sorry cancer my son was at the door um so yeah i feel like you were very loving you're a very peaceful person you're you're a guide for other people you, you know honestly you just see the best in people really and you saw the best in this person and they hid a lot from you and i feel like you've learned your lesson from that um i don't feel like they have learned much here because they're still trying to plan to sabotage you and keep you away from anybody else but this person there's i feel like there's they're still possibly in a karmic situation or giving to someone else and they, they're not ready to commit they're not they just uh they don't want you to get with anyone else i i don't even know uh, these people that are so selfish you know this is a very selfish person who just wants to control they're getting their karmic justice here now they're just crying they can't stop thinking about this they can't stop focusing on you cancer it's like tower moment after tower moment for this person because they know they have this feeling at least that you have new people approaching and you're about to get committed in a beautiful relationship and they can't stand it they can't stand it they're having to look really take a good hard look at themselves how they treated you and they're realizing here you're getting away the one for them is getting away you know that's what i'm seeing here cancer um let's see what this person wants to say to you okay Yeah, it's been kind of crazy here today, Cancer, because it's my, my daughter's 18th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Chloe. Um, so, yeah, I've, had, I've been in and out all day, you guys. Um, thank you for being so patient with me, you know. Um, all right, so what does this person want to say to Cancer? Yeah, my daughter's 18, guys. She's 18. Oh, I'm telling you. It's a weird feeling you know I know we've been together in past lives I recognize you you were never a stranger to me I feel like that's you knew this person um, was a was a soulmate a past life soulmate I feel like you did that's why you were looking up to them that's why you trusted them our relationship was different and special other people didn't understand it Letting you down was the worst decision I made. Yep, there it is right there, Cancer. Letting you down was the worst decision they made. They know they're looking at their behavior. They're looking at what they did to you and how it must have felt. If they're feeling this much pain and stress, they realize how it must have felt for you, especially since you were innocent in this. You trusted them, right? I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you so much. I fantasize about getting you a, uh, getting a second chance with you. Yeah, they, they want a second chance, but this person, I feel like they're still with someone else that they just don't want you to get with anyone else. Because uh, that would blow their second chance with you now, wouldn't it? Right? Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you, um, Cancer. Just keep moving forward. Um, I feel like you're going to bump right into somebody new who's going to be awesome for you. And this person, just know, this person is literally, they're, they're being turned inside out from the pain of losing you. Okay? Anyway, Cancers... Um, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Um, if you like this vibe and it resonates with you, thank you guys for putting up with me today. It's been a crazy day, right? In a good way. And um, yeah, cancers until next time, my darlings. Know that I love you. Okay, take care of you and peace out.